What's up, YouTube? CJD from Chris's Junkyard Designs here with another unboxing video. Um, this one is from 637 Collectibles. He's on Instagram. Um, I've ordered a bunch of stuff from him. Uh, he has a lot of, lot of different stuff, a lot of great stuff. He even does some of the, the different action figures and cards sometimes and all that kind of stuff if you're into it those um punk ones or funk ones or whatever they're called those kind of figures um he has a bunch of different things on there so if you're on instagram check him out 637 collectibles okay so we'll start off with this one if you remember in one of my previous unboxings i already have this i got it loose and now I have it carded. So this will go to somebody. I haven't decided who yet, but I'm not going to keep it because I don't need it. Um, oh, that's nice. Metal base, opening hood. 67 Camaro. This is what I mean. Like I was saying in the last video, you get it from one guy and then you forget you ordered it from another person and you end up with two of them. But it's a cool car. So. And I got this Corvette Grand Sport, another casting I do collect. Um, I don't now have this variation. I have almost, I think, every variation now, pretty close, that I've seen anyway, at least. So, I do have the Super, too, of the um, convertible one. I, have, I collect those, two the other Grand Sports, the convertible ones. I got both of them. So, and I have a treasure hunt of this. Um, this one's a treasure hunt too, and I have another one, another kind of treasure hunt, a Grand Sport too, so. Love this casting. Okay. And I got this one. The Monster Dairy Delivery. I have a few variations of this one. I thought this pattern looked cool. It's not one I go after all the time, but it looks cool. I like the green and black. The cow design on it. Pretty nice. I like it. Okay, and this one's a Ford F-150. This is the only one I've had like this one. Um, Team Ford Racing. It has like a back that looks like it comes off. Like some kind of bed bed cover. So when I open it up, I'll take a look at that. But I thought the flame pattern on this was awesome. This one I'm probably going to wheel swap and detail and clear coat because this is an awesome paint job on here. I really like this and I might get rid of that stupid bed liner in the back or whatever that is and just make it a regular truck. I'll have to see when I get it out. But that's what I got this for. I really like that pattern. So <clears throat> I'll show pictures of it when I'm done. It gives a little information on the back of this one 1997. that okay next is a range rover flamethrower i'm thinking i have this and the other range rover already i got earlier but i'm not positive i have to go look this is a casting i've been trying to collect they're hard to find i haven't seen too many of them i think i have four variations it's pretty cool I might do a custom on this one. I mean, a wheel swap and a detail on that one. Because I like that one. And I'm almost positive I have this one already. But I think the one I had isn't as in good shape. So I might swap it with this one. I have to check. But this one's really nice. I like the older Range Rovers. Pretty cool. I have a lot of Range Rovers. That old car in the back. In Mini GT too. 1992 this one is. An oldie. And we got the 32 Bugatti. Type 50. I grab these two when I see them. Um, I have a half a dozen variations of this. This is a really nice color pattern I thought. With like the gold, yellow, goldish color. And the copper color together. It's really nice looking. I like the wheels on it, too. I think it fit this perfectly. So, this will be a good one for the collection. 
um, for sure. And I got this weird looking thing. Hot Wheels High Chrome Bus. I'm assuming this is probably going to be a metal base and a plastic top. This is a chrome car. But it's a super chrome. I thought it was pretty cool looking. I do have a few buses in my collection. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I like the chrome cars. Okay, and the only matchbox I got was this one, which I thought was really cool. The Peterbilt Dairy Line. Really nice casting. I don't have anything like this. So I like the Peterbilt trucks. It's pretty cool. Highway hauler. It's going to be great. So someday when I get my a new place. I have room. I want to set up diorama and stuff like this. It'd be perfect. I mean, I get lots of snow plow trucks and everything like that too for future dioramas. So I have a lot of ideas in my head I want to do. It's a nice, nice casting. So when I actually made the trucks metal, probably if they made this today, this whole top would be plastic. It's cool. I like it. And this is really cool, and I remember these when I was a kid, these action commands. I still have a bunch of them from when I was a kid. They're not in the best shape because I played with them a lot. I had the green ones, but I didn't have this camo pattern, which is really cool. So I have a nice military collection, too, of different castings. So when I see these for a good price, I grab them, and I like this sting rod. This is really cool. It's got the missiles in the back. Lift it up. This is nice. This is an old one, too. This is from 87. So I, re I still remember when I was a kid seeing these cards on the shelf. Unbelievable. Old cards like that. It's awesome. <laughs> cool. And I got this little guy. The Three Squealer. Um, these are really cool. I have another one. Um... Like this too with this the pirate <clears throat> one. It's probably in the back. Yeah. Um he's where the heck is he? He might not be in this set. But there's a pirate one I got too. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's on there. <clears throat> these are cool display pieces. I like putting these up and around. Really cool. The guy's pretty detailed. Nice bike. I had a nice collection of bikes, too. I like collecting the different motorcycles. They're not too crazy. Yeah, pretty cool. And lastly, I got my first Era card. Era car. I don't have any of these. Um, and this was a pretty good price, so this is limited to $1,200. i am assuming that's packaging again, like the Mini GT. That's not the casting. I'm almost positive. Not for the price I got it at, at least. But I like the pattern on this one. He had a whole bunch of them up there. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try and get my first error car. I like this car. I like the GTR R35s. And I thought the livery on here was pretty cool with the Dunlop. So, I like it. The back shows a few different cars. Um, but I can't wait to open this one up. This is my first one. See what that looks like. It looks like the hood opens on it. I'm not sure. I never had one, so we'll see. Yep. So that's all I got for that delivery um, on Instagram. That's 637 Collectibles. Um, and like I said, I have another unboxing to do. Um, I might start tomorrow. It'll probably be a four part, three or four parts, a whole lot of cars from. TCB Auctions, that's my main place where I go. My first place where I started really getting cars on Instagram. One of the first people I actually met on there. So he's a really cool dude. He has an auction site. He has a website. He has an eBay page. He's got a lot of stuff. He's got awesome cars. He breaks his... I'll, I'll explain it all when I do his unboxing. But he has a whole bunch of different stuff he auctions off on Instagram every day of the week. Different stuff, so... All right, I thank everybody again for watching the video and subbing, and have a great night.